the desert habitat. The most famous animal lives in the desert habitat, which of course, the camel. Camel lives in the desert habitat, represent an area with very hot temperature in day and very cold at night. Also, the desert habitat characterized by less water sources because the rain, the amount of rain that falls in the uh, desert habitat is so, so small. Let's talk about some adaptations in the camel. First, the nose. The camel nose, a stretchy nostril to keep out the sand. The long eyelashes to help the camel to keep the sand out of its eyes. The leathery mouth help camel to eat the spiky plants, to chew the spiky plants. Also, the camel has hair on the back to protect again against the sun. And also the camel has hump for storing food, long legs to keep the camel off the hot sand to keep its body cold, and bad feet or wide feet to stop the camel from sinking into the sand and to protect it from the heat of the ground. Let's talk about another living organism. A famous living organism lives in the desert habitat, which is the cactus. Cactus are well adapted for survival or for staying alive in the desert habitat. The adaptation in the cactus. First, cactus has long deep roots, its roots, uh, so long to reach the water, the deeper water in the ground, in the soil. Okay, second one, waxy skin. It's a skin covered with wax, a layer of wax that prevent the water from evaporating and keep the water for a longer time. Large stem to store large amount of water has spines instead of leaves to decrease the water loose and stop animals from eating cactus. Protect the cactus from being eaten, from being eat, from being eat by another animal. Let's talk about some plants live in Egypt or exist in Egypt. The Nile lotus. Nile lotus, one of the plants that live in uh, River Nile. Nile lotus has a wide, large leaves to allow the plant to float, not to sink in the water. So the leaves of the lotus is wide to float in water easily. To be able to receive the large amount of sunlight for making food. Of course, we know plants need sunlight for making the photosynthesis process that help the plant to make its nutrients. Another, another plants live uh, around the uh, river Nile, papyrus. Papyrus has a thin flexible stem to go with the water without being broken. So it's stem thin and flexible. Okay, to go with the water without being broken. The third living organism, which is egrets. Egrets have long legs that allow them 
to walk easily through the water and long beak to help it to catch the fish. So by using its long beak, it can catch the uh, fish from the water, pick up the uh, small fish and uh, snails and the other types of food from the water and the long legs to walk easily through the water.